What's up guys, I'm Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Launchpad MK2 or Pro with Ableton Live. Now I'm currently running Ableton Live Lite and that's the free version because I just recently got my Launchpad and I kind of wanted to test Ableton out a little bit before I bought Suite or Standard. But anyway, this worked with all editions of Ableton so it's Live, uh, Suite, Standard, Intro, and Lite. So this should work with all of them. But um, yeah, anyways, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, I am back, and right now I'm in Ableton Live 9 Lite with my launchpad connected to my computer. But as you can see, there is no lights or nothing really I can do with it. So it's basically garbage, but we're gonna fix this garbage right now. So first off, what you wanna do is go to your options, and then you wanna go down to preferences, and then you want to press on link MIDI. Now for your control surface, number one, you want to find either your mini launchpad, your pro launchpad, or your MK2 launchpad. I am currently using the MK2, so I will find that right now. Here it is. And then you want to do the same for your input and your output. Next, you want to go to your track and remote and put these two on, and then these two on. Now, that's basically what you have to do. You could put on takeover, but it doesn't really make a difference. So you can just close out of this. So now you can go to user one, user two, mixer and session with lights. And if you wanna see lights on the launch pad, like if you play, um, you wanna go to your first MIDI or second MIDI, doesn't matter. Then for MIDI from, you wanna put your launch pad for all channels, you want to change it to channel 6, that is very important. And then from your MIDI 2, put your launch pad and then put channel 6. And then after that, the final step is to arm it and then go to user 1 and you should see lights. Now it works for all buttons, even the sides. And yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and like. And comment if you guys want any more tutorials like future bass, uh, trap music, anything you guys want, I will do. So um, yeah, do that and I will make more videos. See you guys later.